Long time no speak. I haven't done one of these videos for like forever. Feels weird just talking to the camera again. It's been that long since I've done one. Um, the reason for today's video is obviously is to give you a bit of a channel update. Uh, it's also to let you know an issue I've found with the Matek VTX PDB board and the Betaflight Lewis script. And also to let you know about Patreon, I have now opened a Patreon account which I'm going to be holding a monthly giveaway on. Uh, so if you want to have a little look in the description of this video, it'll tell you all about what I'm planning on doing and where the channel's planning on going. And you know, the idea being is I want to start doing a lot of review and tutorial videos. I've been flying for two years now and as far as I'm concerned I've got a, a good amount of experience behind me and I've learnt a lot of things along the way. So I'd like to obviously start sharing them with yourselves. Um, <coughs> the Patreon thing, you know, that's basically I'm going to be doing a monthly giveaway. Right, so I'll, the money that I gain through Patreon will obviously go towards buying products to review and then I'll hand them away to yourself. So if you'd like to help me along this route, then have a little look in the description box of this video. And there'll be a link that'll be through to Patreon. And then you can <coughs> have a look at what I plan on doing. There's different price brackets for... You know, if you want to donate a dollar or you want to donate two dollars or ten dollars or twenty or whichever. So if you want to have a little look through that, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, the Matex 6S, not 6S, sorry, the Matex VTX PDB. I uh, found a bit of an issue with the Lewis script on from your Tyrannus. So <coughs> when you go to change the VTX power, if you set it to 600, it starts playing up and going on and off and on and off and on and off so it's not doing what it should be doing so I found a way around it so I'm going to uh, just run through that with you now and we'll see how we get on and you can let me know in the video description box of what you thought of this video cheers guys alright guys right so we're on the bench as you can see it's been a long time since I've done a video on here as well right that's my Tyrannus this is a chameleon um, it's got a Matek F4 in it and it's also running a Matek VTX PDB as I reckon you can possibly see if the camera focuses so you've got VTX PDB in there and then Matek F4 on top and what I'm going to show you focus that back up again <coughs> I've had to borrow my daughter's screen for this but I'm going to uh, do the Tyrannus bit first I think so turn that on Welcome to OpenTX Throttle warning Alright so I need to load the quad up and go into the script If you want to know how to do that, there'll be a video coming out on that in the next week or so. Right, so hold the page button down, and that will take you into your script. Oh, well, push it again, and it will. Right, I'm gonna minute. see if we can zoom you in. That'll do. Right, <coughs> obviously, with the Betaflight Lewis script, you can pick and choose what power you've got, what channel you're on, and what band you're on. Now what I've noticed with the Matek PDB is if you wind this all the way up to 600 which it lets you do and you hold your menu button down and save to the page if you can see I don't know if it's going to like me see that red light that's flashing and you see the way it goes starts flashing and look go solid for a second and then it starts flashing again like that well what that looks like when you're flying is like this let's just get the screen to boot up right as you can see you can see through the FPV camera when that light stops flashing it does that see this. Well you'll be able to hear it on, it's better. 
so I plugged my quad in the other day and went to take off and as I shot off down the field my video did that jump which is what it's doing now and what it's turned out to be is I've ended up I've been messing about I've resoldered all the connections on the camera I've gone through the PDB with a VTX done this so I've gone through the VTX on the PDB with a multimeter <coughs> trying to find what the issue was and it turned out that it was the Lewis script and what it's doing is the flight controller itself when you've set this to 600 because the, VT, because the VTX can only run at 500 if you set this to 6 it thinks it keeps trying to jump to 600 milliwatt so what you have to do is you have to have it set to 4 and then if you set it to 4 let me just get the screen and as you can see that's now on 400 and then if I hold page down, oh, hang on, nope. Yep, hold page. And then save that so it goes to 400. It'll do that jump once. And get you focused up. There we go. So it'll do that jump once and it won't do it anymore. And we've now got three solid lights so if anyone's having an issue with and they've got a Matech VTX and it show or it keeps jumping and you've set it up through the Lewis script that's why your video's going on and off it's nothing to do with your Telemetry camera lost. oh no alright behave it's because I've just unplugged it <coughs> so yeah if you uh, find that your video keeps going on, on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off, it's not down to the PDB VTX. It's down to your Tyrannus is still trying to turn the power up on the V on the VTX, and that's your issue. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Cheers.